friend we are with the new tutorial video on vbots today we will learn how to add gps module on our robot so last time we learned how to make a custom robot where we can control the robot with keyboard so here we see the code where we used different arrow keys to uh, make it work but oops so this was our previous work so now what we will do is today we will add a gps on our robot because if you see in robotics if you want to navigate correctly and reach a goal you need to know your current location so for that we have a input node named gps inside vbots so in our robot this is the robot if you don't know how to make this robot do watch a video tutorial on custom robot and if you don't know how we made this control file of keyboard then watch a previous video on how to control our robot with keyboards so now we go in robot we add a child named gps so there is a child named gps we add it and here let's name it as global because it will give us global coordinates now let's go in child so in child we'll have solid solid yeah and this is pretty much same where uh, in solid you have a child named shape and let's shape our so let let me do appearance to be pbr appearance and let's have shape of our robot to be cylindrical so if you see here we have a cylinder and we will call this as gps so we'll adjust the height to 0.02 let's make it small and radius as 0.01 so it will be a so if i do, i set the translation in such a way that it should be visible if you know the exact translation of your robot from base link you can put the translation here and it will give you the coordinates accordingly so now we have our gps ready now let's edit the code so that we can have this gps running so first of all let us gps star gp so let's have a member of class a pointer to class gps and then we have gp equal to robot because we have an instance of robot class get gps and as we named our gps to be global so we'll name the same so that our code can recognize our robot uh, the link and we'll enable it in our time step so every 64 milliseconds so let's copy this and paste it here okay so now we have made an object pointer to gps now we just need to have our print statements for our gps so std see out and let's first have x x coordinate and here i'll get gp uh, as our pointer and we have get value and in this get values i'll get three values so my zeroth value will be x 
and uh, and uh, so similarly we have y direction and z direction where this will be 1 and this will be 2 so it gives me get value gives me a, a vector of 3 or an array of 3 uh, coordinates x y and z so now we are good to go so we just added these three lines here and here so let's make it build correctly and we'll save this first or else uh, the gps we will we made will be lost and now when i reset it if this runs fine we'll see that the values in the terminal so you see keyboard values let us do one thing let us add some hashes so that we can differentiate between other values so let's have some hashes okay and let's compile this and reset so now when i play this i can get my x y z coordinates and as i move my robot these coordinates change and to prove that are these coordinates right if i go towards the origin of So when I reach the origin, my values start becoming zero. So it shows that our GPS is giving us correct global coordinates. So this was all about setting up GPS and getting values out of GPS. If you like the video, do subscribe the channel and there are many more tutorials to come. And if you are new to this video, do watch other tutorials. Uh, to get a hold of VBOTS and will come soon. Thank you.